Well, thank you, Eyes, for being a part of uh, Advocate Sessions. Um, just got a couple of questions for you guys, quick kind of casual interview. Uh, can you uh, first introduce yourselves and t tell us a little bit about how uh, Eyes formed? How long have you guys been playing this music? Um, well, we started, I guess, three, four years ago, somewhere around there. Three years? About three years. Um, so the three of us were in a band called Hadoken, and we broke up, and we decided we still wanted to play music, so we kind of stuck around, and I got a looper pedal right around that time, and we just kind of <laughs> started from there. Are you guys uh, working on any uh, sort of album or EP at the moment? Uh, yeah, we're working on our first album. Um, probably about halfway through, got all the drums and the guitars done, the violins done. So, uh, working on the synth production now, and the brass arrangements. We use brass instruments sometimes, and uh, vocal arrangements too. So, uh, so, do you have a title for it? And um... we don't have a title for it. Uh, any t any <laughs> time in uh, which you want to release it? Uh, not really. Okay. Shooting for the phone. <laughs> <ball. laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, it's a big it's a big project. Uh, most of the songs are already at about 115 tracks a piece. There's 24 tracks. It's about 75 minutes of music. How long have you been working on this? Uh, about a year and a half. Um, I mean, not including writing time. Well, look forward to uh, listening to it once it's out. Yeah, thanks. Uh, do you guys uh, have any other plans on the horizon as far as maybe tour dates or shows in the next month? Uh, we have a show on Friday with the Leafies you gave me Woo! at Hawks and Reed Performing Arts Center in Greenfield. Massachusetts, which is a really great venue, and uh, some really great acts there too. Um, t could you tell me a little bit how uh, the, your style developed? Uh, wh what are some of the influences? And uh, oh. it's, it seems like very, uh, very experimental. A lot of di uh, very different uh, arrangements. Um, I think so in some ways the technical side of just ha the process of how we do things kind of creates that versus. Um, you know, like, because some things are just sh almost straight bossa nova or, or something, but because it's like a distorted sub guitar synth, it sounds weird, you know. Um, I like to think of style as, like, I don't want to have style at all, and I just want to adapt to everything. So it kind of starts like he makes a bunch of loops, and they have a certain sound, and he starts adding rhythms to it, and then I kind of try to fill in the bass, and then extras and make the chords change and stuff. Also the limitation of the repeating loop musically, trying to change the bass notes so that it still works with the loop but that it creates a new chord. Um, it's a little trickier than having like no looping where you can just change the chords whenever you want, however you want. So I think that kind of, in some ways the limitations and the possibilities of the setup create the style itself. It's not even really like a conscious process, I don't think. I think it's really interesting that you have two drummers in the band. How, how, do, uh, how, how do you guys uh, play together? I, I know there's a lot of uh, polyrhythms involved. Let's see what you want to say. Well, it's funny. We actually we met at Six Flags New England. <laughs> we <were both> <laughs> yeah, it's really <laughs> funny. We were both trash tones. So like we would str uh, make a like street percussion with trash cans and buckets and anything that makes a sound. And so anytime I got a shift with Tyler, I have to say it was magical. We synced up musically so well. Um, you know, that's, I, that's seven years ago already. That was seven years I'm ago. Oh my god, god. which is wild. And I think I, um, personally for me, I was at I's first show ever. And before I'm any kind of member of this band, I'm a fan of this band and how it sounds. And it's just really fun and different based on my, my project I'm doing outside of this, which is more funk based. Um, and I think what happened is one day I, I, I sat in on Shaker for, uh, for sharks for, for yeah. ten for ten yeah. seconds yeah. of one song, and uh, and uh, so it turned into this eventually. <laughs> thankfully, I was like, what about um, what if we have you on on Clavis? What, yeah. what about just coming? And now well, I have like four, sixteen four little options here to yeah. play with, which is really fun. So well, that's great. Yeah, it's great. The, the idea of the band was always to try and get more people because we were in a six-person band, instrumental band, with three guitar players. And then we became a three-person band. So we always wanted the idea of multiple drummers was good. The idea of um, entering like brass players, which we're going to be doing on Friday. Actually, we're going to have 
seven people. Um, it's always something we've tried to do. It's harder than you think. <laughs> well, thank, thanks so much uh, for being part of the Advocate Sessions. We're, we're glad to have you here. Thank you for having us. Thanks, thanks so much. <laughs>